Hey y'all, happy Friday. Happy preparation for your Sunday. It's the weekend, baby. Anyway, hey, you guys know, um, I like to come on with the, on my Fridays. Probably, you know, give you guys something to work on or think about, okay? You know, something that will probably, you know, help better yourself or make you think or even, you know, help you change your way so you can be a better person, right? So you, you can make yourself as whole as possible, right? That's my job, right? You know, in addition, you know, to at least save one sheet. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Okay. Anyway, you know, for this Friday, you guys, you know, I get my short. You know, for this weekend, right, I want you guys to stay focused, right? Stay strong, right? You know, and put forth your work, right? And, you know, um, just be strong. Don't let your hands be weak, you know, for your work should be, should be rewarded, right? Because, like I said, as it's written... And um, Corinthians, actually, 2 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 7, right? KJV version, it says, um, Be ye strong, therefore, and let not your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. So even the Bible telling you, right? Be strong, be focused, go ahead. Whatever you put into it, you're going to get out of it, right? And if you put work in righteously, trust and believe me, you will be rewarded, right? It's just the same, like whatever you put in this universe, you get back, right? So, hey, if you don't work, you don't eat. Hey, it's given. One plus one equals two, right? So, and, and if I was telling you right now, hey, what you put into it, you get in it, right? Don't let your hands be weak, right? But get up. Use your hands to make something happen. You know, use your hand to till. Use your hand to sew. Use your hand to cook. Use your hand to clean. Use your hand to write. Use your hands to teach. Just use it for something. Let your hands not be weak, right? You know? Stay strong for your work. Whatever you do in your hands shall be rewarded, right? And, you know, nothing can go along with that being focused and being strong. It's staying, staying, um, not being distracted, right? Because we can try to, you know, walk that path and be strong, but are we focused, right? So we can walk that path and work towards your goals, right? But if your mind not there, if it's not mentally prepared, then you're just working in vain, right? That means you're not strong. You're not using your hands. You're not you allowing your hands to be weak. Because that same path you're walking to try to stay strong and get something done, hmm, is being distracted because you got too much going on in your life. You got too many things in your ways that's blocking you. You can't drive forward because you got something over here, over here, behind you, around here. You know, you, you is consumed. Your whole mind is consumed. So how can you stay strong and focused? You can't because you got too many options, right? Right. Let's just say that we gonna use. Let's just use Starbucks, right? I don't even drink coffee, right? But I'm just trying to tell you. I think I was watching this stand-up comedian, right? They was talking about uh, Starbucks, how how they went to Starbucks and uh, they was ordering the coffee and they gave him too many options to the point that he couldn't even order nothing. And that's the same way in life, right? Starbucks, you go there and you try to order coffee. I'm telling you, um, actually, because I'm. They had to buy somebody some coffee one day. They had left their credit card. And that's when I, I learned as well, right? You know, but mainly from the stand-up comedian. But anyway, you know, he said, you know, he went to Starbucks and tried to order some. And they asked this man, he want this shot, that shot, this, this, and then just all these options, right? Like, whoa, it's, I'm, I'm confused, okay? It's too many options. The same thing, you got too many things going on in your life. It's consuming your mind that's causing you to be confused. You got to get rid of some of those options. You don't need that many options. The father also said, live here a simple life, right? You don't have to be so extra. You don't need everything going on in your life, right? So it's just telling you, be ye therefore strong and let not your hands be weak for your work will be rewarded, right? But remember, stipulations come along with that just like the covenant, right? When you work and you not let your hands be weak, you know, and you be rewarded, that's because you're working towards something that you know is beneficial and righteous, right? And not something just, um, something that's not going to benefit you or something that's going to cause somebody else some type of vile treatment towards them, right? So this pertaining to, this scripture's pertaining to working, you know, not allow your hands to be weak, but stand strong, right? Stand focused in the right manner, right? You know, and having faith that what you working with your hands and being strong, that you will be rewarded. And you will be rewarded because it's already written. I just read it to you guys, right? So again, right, this weekend, I want you guys to take the time and try to maintain on being more focused on whatever goals you want to reach, right? 
you know, try to let some of those options you got going on in your life. Because remember, if we got too many options going on in your life, you know, your mind be consumed. You ain't got no time for yourself to even think logically because your whole mind is cluttered with all this nonsense, right? Let me see. Just say another time. Your mind is cluttered because why? You want to sit around, maybe gossip all day, and talk about something that's not even important, not even benefit you, benefiting you. Or, you know, you want to sit around and focus on things that's out of your control that you can't even do nothing about, right? Or you want to sit around and maybe watch your friend or watch whoever, you know, and be, you know, hating towards them because they got so much going on. You see what I'm saying? So you can't focus on your life because you're worrying about them and trying to get what they got or take what they got, right? Or you worrying about everything you guess that's going on in everybody else's life but yours, right? You know, or you sitting up here and you're trying to cause a problem in somebody else's life, you know, because you can. You see, all those things, you know, gossiping and just being vile for no reason, just doing things unnecessary that's not even going to benefit you. It's not going to be no productivity to you. In fact, it's going to bring your health down, right? So that's what I'm saying. You got too many things going on in your life. Release, release all those options. You don't need all those options, right? Try to live a more simple life. Okay, what? We here. You can, you can, um... Eat, you want to feed yourself, right? You want to close yourself, a roof over your head. You want to set great examples. You want to do right by your body, your temple. Don't be so extra. You don't need to throw everything on your face, tons of makeups or tons of fake attributes to make all this and that. You see, you're doing too many things, but lay back. You don't need all that, right? Those are too many options. It only causes confusion, right? So that's what I'm saying. You have to stay strong and stay focused and more in simplicity and not allow yourself to be drawn in and all these options, all this confusion that's going on in this world. They got everything you can get into, everything. I mean, you walk outside this door, you can get caught up in everything. But that's the problem. People are allowing themselves to be caught up in everything instead of allowing themselves to be simple and live life as a necessity and not a want. That's the problem now. We have so many necessities that we overlooking our, our, our uh, I mean, we have so many wants that we overlooking our needs, our necessities, the things that very, we very need to survive. The things we need to survive, we have. But all that extra stuff, what? It's only causing extra money, causing more health problems, causing you to lose friendship, causing your mind um, to be compromised. You see, all that extra stuff is nothing but a compromised service. So why would you do yourself a disservice? Lay back. Stop allowing yourself to get caught up in so much. Lessen all these options in your life, okay? Live by your needs and not your wants. And stop living out trying to be like the next person or be like the Jones or trying to live your life because somebody popular. No, that's not your life. Live your life for you, you know? So you can be okay, right? So you can be humble, right? Again, right? As it is written, and 2 Corinthians verse 15, verse 7. Be ye therefore strong, and let not your hands be weak, for your work should be rewarded. It is written. It is written, as the Father say. However, lessen the options in your life. Make it less extra. Lay back, right? So everything you want that you put, you work so hard for, you will be rewarded. It will come to you. And it won't be in vain. And you will value it and earn it because of what you put into it, okay? All right, you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Enjoy your weekend. Love y'all. Bye.